A record crowd will watch the Women's FA Cup final today between Manchester City and the WSL champions Chelsea at Wembley. Both teams aiming for their fourth FA Cup and second trophy of the season, but it's the first time that these two have actually even met in the final. Let's get more ahead of the game and join Anton Tolui, who's at Wembley for us. Good morning, Anton. How are you doing? How's the atmosphere building already for this one? Yeah, fans are already starting to arrive, Vicky. Like I said, 55,000 expected here at Wembley today, a new club record for a game in England. And it's going to be a fascinating game between two sides from near the top of the table. Chelsea, of course, the champions, but of course, Manchester City beat them in the League Cup final a couple of months ago. And one player from the Manchester City squad joins me right now, Karen Bartley. Lovely to see you. Thank you for joining us today on Match Day especially. How are you feeling? How are the City fans feeling ahead of such a big game? Uh, it's been a great week in camp. Um, I have to say everyone seemed really calm and excited about today. And, you know, it's been a great run of games for us and we're just hoping to carry that momentum forward into the game today. Talk about momentum. 13 games winning streak. That's, that's pretty impressive, but you're coming into playing the champions. So how optimistic is the side going into this? I think we're always really confident in our abilities. And as you say, we have that momentum on our side. But yeah, obviously Chelsea will have won the league and they'll want to you know obviously take another trophy home and I think it's just going to be one of those tactical games that you know might start out kind of slow with both teams feeling each other out but ultimately it's probably going to end in an absolute I don't know hopefully not too much of a goal fest but um, yeah I think it's going to be really exciting and end to end. As a goalkeeper you don't want a goal fest <laughs> but um, talk, to, uh, talk to me about obviously the League Cup final two months ago I think some people were surprised by how well and how easily sort of uh, City dispatched Chelsea especially in that second half how important is that coming into this game yeah you're absolutely right I think there have been moments where we've struggled to put like a full 90 minute performance together but I mean that shows exactly what we're capable of doing and hopefully we can you know learn from the first half and apply what we did in the second half to try and put a full 90 minute performance together but you know I've got a lot of respect for Chelsea we all do um, they're a, t a fabulously talented side um, you know so we have to earn the right um, but ultimately I think we will just kind of be unpicking each other especially in the midfield and just seeing kind of where the spaces expose themselves and how we can you know um, use that to our advantage so it's gonna be really exciting. How good is this is this Chelsea team though? Oh no they're a great team I think they've got depth in every position you know obviously uh, Sam's just won you know um, all of basically all the awards you know top goal scorer and golden boot and everything and she scores some amazing goals, so she'll be flying, you know, in terms of confidence. And she's not the only one that's scoring either. So, you know, we have to be really, really careful about um, keeping track of who's playing and, you know, what their strengths are and how we can nullify them. So, uh, yeah, we've definitely got a healthy respect. But equally, I think we've, you know, scored a plethora of goals and from numerous different goal scorers as well. And, you know, building through the midfield, we're really comfortable defending at the minute. So I think it's it's going to be a really tasty game, I think. I think you said in the intro that obviously, look, both teams have won the cup competitions this season. But how much would it mean to City considering back in November, obviously back in ninth, and there were yeah. doubts about where this team was going. And yet here we are, Champions League football secured and now potentially a, a second trophy. Yeah, I think obviously everyone kind of wrote us off after the first half of the season. Um, but we knew it was just going to be a matter of time after we got everyone back fit. Um, and I think our latest run of form has definitely proved that. So I think we're feeling, we're feeling really, really confident about the game today. How are you feeling? Obviously, this is, <laughs> you've announced your retirement a couple of weeks ago. Yeah. Like, this is your last game can, uh, coming down as a player. How, how are you? This is probably quite emotional for you. Yeah, it's, it's not quite sunk in yet. Um, I think today will be a pretty emotional day for me but um, kind of seeing it through a different lens has allowed me to enjoy you know certain elements that I think when you're preparing for a game like today you just kind of overlook or you don't get to absorb so you know being here with people like yourself is something a little bit different um, but no ultimately it will be a test of you know how many tears I shed at the end of the game today you know hopefully when we lift the trophy well, nothing to worry about there's only 55,000 people here to watch <laughs> that as well so look, it should be an absolutely fascinating occasion not just because we'll be watching Karen but also <laughs> because it's going to be a great game between two top teams in the country can Chelsea go on to win their fifth domestic uh, title in the last two years or can Manchester City beat them for the second time in a cup final this season thank you very much Anton